Tuesday. Lots of new moon energy in the air. Exciting things going on. We're gonna take a moment to ground and center and breathe. Taking everything that does not serve you and leaving it off just outside of the four corners of your room, your walls, your space. Take a deep inhale, tent the fingers, lengthen through the spine, and then as you exhale, slowly begin to plant the palms back down. Take a deep inhale through the nose, filling up, filling up, filling up. With an open mouth exhale, let it all go. One more deep inhale, we fill up. Exhale, we let go. Picking up the right hand and placing it on top of the left, we'll walk into the far left side of our space. Really elongating and finding that space in the intercostal muscles, sending breath in between each rib. And just opening up that side body. It's a beautiful, happy Tuesday. One more deep inhale. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, coming back to the center of your space. As you exhale, take it to the far right side with the left hand ending up on top. Really send the breath. Breathe in and open. Exhale and let go. One more deep round of breath. Inhale, fill up, fill up. Open mouth, exhale. We release and let it all go. Inhale, coming back to the center of your space. Stay hold for your exhale. Keep the elbows planted onto the mat. Crawl them a little bit forward if needed. And then bring the palms together behind your neck, stretching out through the triceps. A deep inhale through the nose. With an open mouth exhale. One more full round of breath. Deep inhale, fill up, fill up. Open mouth, exhale, we release and let go. Happy Tuesday. Re-inhale and lengthen the palms and then slide them underneath your shoulders coming into your tabletop. Wag our tail side to side. Take a moment in this freedom of movement. We'll take a few rounds of cat-cow, dropping the belly, lifting the gaze. Inhale, exhale, tuck the toes round, press the earth away from you. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, tuck the toes around, press the earth away. Two more, inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Coming back into a neutral tabletop. I'll give you a few different uh, options that you can do for your wrists. If they begin to give you any pain, you can always make fists into the mat, or you can come down onto your forearms, interlacing the fingers, keeping the shoulders directly over the elbows. With the palms firmly planted underneath the shoulders, your index finger will face forward, the thumbs face, and pull the bicep forward so the eye of the elbow faces front. Taking a deep inhale, you're gonna dip the, uh, the torso down and squeeze the shoulder blades together as if there's a pencil between the shoulder blades. And then as you exhale, activate the rhomboid muscle and have space between the shoulder blades. Inhale, we dip. Exhale, we press away. We're gonna go for five, four, three, two, one, hold that length, hold that space. Tuck the toes, take a deep inhale, still looking down between the palms, keeping the cervical spine neutral. As you exhale, lift and float the knees. Holding it here, pull the navel into the spine. If you're already shaking, welcome. Welcome to the cause. Woo, here we go for five. Hold it for four, three, two, one, tap the knees, lift an inch. You're gonna inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. Pull it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold and float, hold and float. You've got this. Take a deep inhale. Hold for your exhale. Woo! And drop the knees. Keep the toes tucked, stick back onto the heels, hands high up overhead. 
Make sure that pinky toe is tucked and activated as well. Really stretching through the fascia of the feet. Opening and closing the hands super, super fast. Warming up through the forearms. We go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back to your tabletop, tap the shoelace side of the feet. Beautiful. Taking a deep inhale, tuck the left toes. As you exhale, plant that left, the right foot straight back. Begin to rock forward and back, stretch it up and tap for five, four, three, two, one. Activate the core. Don't jump in the low back and jump up. Pull the navel in and have that tailbone going heavy towards the ground. Space between the shoulder blades. Flex the, bottom, the foot and inhale. Double pulls up. Exhale, tap. Coming all the way up. Actually, I'm sorry. You exhale as you double pulse. So technically, you're supposed to breathe as you come down. Exhale, double pulse. Inhale, down. Exhale. There it is. There's that rhythm. We go for eight, seven, six. We can do it for five. Activating that glute. Really press and flex that foot. Imagine there's a laser beam on the heel and you're drawing a little tally mark on the wall or the air, the sky, whatever behind you. Just go up and down. Woo! For five, four, three, two, one. Double, uh, continuously pulsing. Isometric pulses. Little teeny tiny ones. Floating and pulsing. Really flex the heel, activate through that glute. Feel your hamstrings engaged for eight. You got it for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, hold and float, hold and float. As you exhale, you're gonna lift and tap it over to the side, and then take a deep inhale, pull it back. Think warrior three style hips. Inhale, take it over, gate pose. Exhale, warrior three style legs. We're gonna go for eight, breathing, seven, we've got this, six, five, four, three, two, one, keep it to the side, lift and lower, lift and lower, press evenly between both palms, you've got it for five, four, three, two, one, we bend into the knees. Woo! Wag that tail side to side. Oh, it is glorious. Welcome to the burn booty. Here we go. All right, opposite leg now, tucking the right toes, lengthen the left leg back, stretching out through that calf. Take several rounds of breath. Space between the shoulder blades. Pull the navel into the spine. Inhale, as you exhale, double pulse. Pull the navel in, tap the toes. Inhale, double pulse. Oh, exhale, my bad. Inhale as you lower. Exhale, double pulse. Space between the shoulder blades. Pull the navel into the spine. For five, four, three, two, one, pulse, pulse it up, flex the toes. Really imagine that you're drawing a tally mark on that heel, on that back wall. Isometric pulses, we've got this for eight, and seven, and six, come on, come on for five, four, three, two, one, inhale, find length, find space. As you exhale, tap it to the side, gate pose. Inhale all the way back, forward, three style legs. Exhale, gate pose. Breathing, press evenly between both palms. For five, four, three, two, and one. Keep it to the side, lift and lower, lift and lower. Double pulses, we've got it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bending into the knees, Woo! wag that tail side to side. Side to side. Take a deep inhale, and stay for the exhale. All right, we're gonna stretch out our back a little bit. So 
So we're gonna um, I'll do a back bend, a heart opener called puppy pose. So keeping in your tabletop, slowly walking your arms forward. Keep your hips over your knees. Lower towards the mat and keep your chin looking forward. If that feels comfortable in the neck, if not, you can keep it down, but it's like a raised child's pose. It should get nice and into that back. Three full rounds of breath here. One more deep inhale. Stay for the exhale. Slowly begin to rise back into your tabletop. And we're gonna tuck the toes, lift the hips, send it into a downward facing dog. Press everything away, press the shoulders away from the ears, the torso to the top of the thighs, pedaling it out through the calves for five, four, three, two, one. Find stillness, take a deep inhale through your nose, as you exhale, coming all the way out to plank, hold it nice and high. Hold it here, take a deep inhale and plank. Squeeze and lift up through the kneecap. Squeeze the glutes together, have that space between the shoulder blades. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna do this for eight. Really press through the fingertips. Seven. Six, we've got it, we've got it. Who's smiling? Who's jamming out to their favorite tunes? We've got it. For four, three, two, and one. Hold high plank, hold high plank. You've got it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Come on, come on for two. One, bend the knees, roll it out through the wrist. Woohoohoo! We are doing it, we are getting it, we are shaking it out. I go ahead and grab a sip of water. Oh, just enough to wet the palate. Oh, water is so good. Oh my goodness. I've been trying to stay off of social media most of the day. I went for a long hike today. It was a glorious Tuesday. So, especially with like everything going on. Come on, the election, everything. There was so much anxiety. I was like, you know what? I'm turning the news off. I'm just turning everything off, shutting it out. So, that's what I did today. And I think it's necessary sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and make our way to standing. Uh, ditch that mat and we're gonna get to our bar. Yes, we are. All right. I'm gonna make sure that we can see feet. Okay. Look at my ball, it's so sad. I haven't blown it up and my silks are getting caught. Oh my goodness, okay. Sorry, I had like a minor little decor function. <laughs> Garage decor. Alrighty, grabbing your props, coming into a first position with your left hand on the bar. The heels come in, to, uh, in together to kiss, and then what you're going to do is let's all start parallel together. Just rock forward and back, find your weight. And on your, let's do for three, two, on your third one, you're going to lean back onto your heels, use that rotation, squeeze the glutes together, lift up through the kneecaps. Take your ball out to the arm. Now you don't want the ball in the same uh, line as the shoulder. You want it slightly forward with the core nice and engaged. We're gonna do a double play pulse. Lengthen, now resist the lengthen, lifting up through the kneecaps and squeeze the glutes at the top. Don't grip the earth with the feet. So keep those arches lifted. Really press into the pinky edge of the toe to hold that outward rotation. Heavy tailbone for eight. Seven, you've got it for six, five, four, three, two, one, plie pulse. We're going back to the idea of swan leg, 
Pulsing on the beautiful pond together. Pond, I mean pond. The pond, that's what we're gonna call it now. <laughs> like blonde, but pond now. <laughs> Keep pulsing for five, four, three, two, one. Bottom of the knee, lift up that right heel. You're gonna place that squishy ball directly underneath the heel, holding the arm in second. Keep pressing the heel forward and micro pulses. Knees going in the same line as toes. We're gonna go for eight, add a little porta bra with the arm. Seven, keep it going for six, five, don't stick that tailbone out. Four, three, two, one, plie, porta bra forward and peak plie. Arm comes high up overhead, fifth position. And we pull, lowering the outside heel, lifting the inside heel. We're gonna go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both heels lower, both heels lift. They lower and lift. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, heels stay high, step and squeeze the heels together. Take that ball on and on. We pulse. You got it. We go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bottom of the plie, shake those hips side to side. Woo! Get low. Let's burn the thighs. For five, four, three, two, one. Big hula hoop circles. Move the hips. For eight, seven. Circle it for six, five, four, three, two, one. We reverse that circle for eight. Get low. Come on, come on. We got it. We're wrong. Look at that. I almost dropped my ball. Seven, Woo. six, five. You've got it for four, three, two, one. Open out to second position, beautiful. Elbows going to pull in, in as you plie and press away as you lengthen. Double plie and lengthen. Imagine that that ball is attached to a resistance band on the opposite end of the room. For five, four, three, Knees in line with toes, stack the knees over the heels. You can do it. Last two, and one, we pulse back on our swan leg. As if we're just nice little swans, rippling on the pond, or the blonde, or the pond. For five, four, three, two, one, listen closely, come to a bronze plie, bottom of the plie, lift up that right outside heel. You're gonna take a plie pulse, the arm is gonna come up and over, and then you turn and do a lunge at your bar. You're gonna open, keep that heel nice and lifted, open the arm, close the arm, coming back into a lunge. We're gonna go for eight, breathing, moving with intention, moving with care really understanding where the joints feel good. Nothing should ever feel um, like it's like sharp, uncomfortable pain. Just nice and muscle toning and burning. For three, two, you've got it. One, we open all the way up, turn to the bar, we pulse. Pulse it out. Keep everything nice and stacked, a nice heavy tailbone. Shoulders over hips, stacked over the knees. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open back to a big second position. We're gonna do a generous plie. Tondu lean to the side. Big generous grand plie. Tondu lean in. Plie. Tondu lean. Use the strength of the foot. Point through the foot. Really use that side body and reach to the side. For eight, seven, six, five, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Keeping it all the way onto that foot. You're gonna have the energy, double pulse and lengthen. Taking the arm out to the side, double pulse and lengthen. Pull the core in nice and tight. We're leaning away from the leg. For five, keep that energy through the toes. For four, three, two, one. Beautiful, shake it out, woo! Take it to the other side. Oh my goodness, someone got me. When I string them together in those long sequences, I'm like, woo, okay. Getting that heart rate up. All right, first position. Again, making sure that our alignment, we don't want to be flying out. Pull everything in, tight core, heavy tailbone, forearm in front, double plie, lengthen. So take that moment, come back, squeeze the glutes. Lift up from the kneecaps, engaging through the quads. Holding through the lats to hold the arm. We've got it, we're smiling. We're pulsing, we are living our best lives. At the bar on a Tuesday, or a Thursday, or Wednesday, or Friday, I don't know, whenever you want to replay it, you know? <laughs> Put in the day of joy. For five, four, three, two, one more round of eight. You've got it. Seven, six, Five, four, we can do this, we can do this. You're smiling, you're moving, you're grooving. Last two, one, we pulse, coming back to slum like, maybe we take a nice quarter broad pulse. Opening the arm up and around. We keep it flowing. You've got it. Last one, big, 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 big circle. And then lift that outside heel. Take that ball down, quarter roll forward, underneath the heel. Arm comes back in second. Now you don't wanna rock your hips side to side. You wanna think coming straight up and down. I like to go to imagery. That really seems to help me in my practice and gain my alignment. So imagine we're on a carousel and we are a carousel animal. Now the carousel animal wouldn't just be like woo, 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 because it has a pole sticking through its head, right? So you want to think, go straight up and down with these pulses. Beautiful, now let's have the port de bras. Big arm circles as if we're dancing through water. Imagine the resistance. Imagine the grace and the beauty. And last two. And one, port de bras forward, lifting up that ball. That keeping the outside heel lifted, then we lower it, generous plie, inside heel lifts. We pulse. Again, keeping those hips nice and still. A slight tuck of the chin, keeping the ears in line so that the head isn't slow far forward. So slight pull of the chin. Press towards the pinky edge of the toe to keep that outward rotation. For five, four, three, two, one. Both heels lower, arm comes out to second. Both heels lift. Both heels lower, both heels lift. For eight, don't stick up that tailbone, keep the ribcage closed. We've got it for six, for five, four, three, two, one. Both heels stay high, press and squeeze the heels together, arm comes on a bond. Yes, we are pulsing, we're working our legs, we are getting it done. For eight, seven, six, five, four, keep pulsing, you've got it, for three, two, one, shake those hips side to side, woo, don't stick that tailbone out, you've got it, get low, get low, how low can we go, we can go low, come on, all the way back up, yes, all the way back up, big hula hoops, hula hoops, for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, opening it out to a generous second position. There we go, big second position. Double plie and lengthen. Lifting up through the kneecaps. 
Lift through the core. You got it. Keep smiling. Keep pulsing for five, four, three, two, and one. Plie pulse. Plie pulse. You've got it. Pulse the legs for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lifting up that outside heel. The arm is going to come over. You're going to plie. Then you're going to turn and carefully make sure your line is set up. Plie lunge. Open. Second. Close lunge. Open. Second. Really swiveling on the ball of the foot. If you are on carpet, I recommend wearing socks. If you are on a hardwood floor, I recommend bare feet. Unless it's really, really slippery, then you can find that balance. I don't know. Find what you like, what works for you, what works for your body. Last three, two, one. We're gonna turn and close to the bar if we pulse. Plie pulse, burning out through that thigh for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, you got it, two, one more round of it, come on, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, beautiful job, take a moment, shake it out, only because I was having a little foot cramp, then we're going to come back into our second position, <laughs> big second position, we're going to plie, then you're going to tendu onto the leg, second position, and tendu. Plie, tendu lean into the side. For eight, woo, seven, we're breathing. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay tendu leaning into the bar, keep the outward rotation, energy through the toes. Double pulse, tendu tap. Pulse, pulse, tap. Pulse, pulse, tap. Pulse, pulse, tap. For five, four, three, come on, come on. For two, one, pulse it up and up. Isometric movements, energy through the arm, energy through the leg. For five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful first position. Now we shake it up. Woo, woo, woo. Beautiful job. Let's move this bar out of the way. Grab your five pound weights if you're sticking around. All right. Whew. My focus just falling all over the place. Come on, like prop failures. Whew. All right, grab a sip of water as well. All right, five pound weights. Here we are. And then you're going to come out and away from your bar just so that you have um, some gentle, huh, some freedom. So make sure your arms can move side to side, forward, back, and above your head. You're going to come into a gentle chair, keeping that pelvis tucked down. You don't want to release and arch into the low back. Keep your core nice and engaged. Arms, shoulders roll down and away. And then we're going to pulse. Knees gliding over toes. Pulsing it out. It's like the child's pose of Kristen's class. The child's pose. It's like, okay, and we pulse. We've got it. Shoulders, uh, weight underneath the shoulders. We're pulsing. We've got this. We go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more round. Keep it going. Keep it going. We're going to pulse it out. For eight, seven, six, five. Keep that alignment for four, three, two, one. Sit back into that chair, heavy tailbone. Slight uh, lean forward. You want a diagonal line from the crown of the head to the tailbone. Tricep, kick back, pulse. Slowly control it in. Tricep, kick back, pulse. We bring it in. For eight. Seven, you've got it. First six, woo, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse it up. Up you go for eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one more round. Let's go, let's go. Pulse it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse it out, beautiful. Bring it back up right. We've got it. We're gonna walk it out. You're gonna stand up nice and tall. Take us uh, about hips, uh, wider than hips width. So almost in a turned in proserita style stance. Arms come into cactus. And you really don't wanna arch through your back and go like this. You wanna pull that navel into the spine. Shoulder, arms come slightly in front of the shoulders. You're gonna do a double pulse up, slowly pull it down. Double pulse up, slowly pull it down. Double pulse, slow pull. For eight, breathing, really shake that back. Hold the core nice and tight. For six, five, four, three, we've got this. Two, and one, we pulse. Pulse it up and down. Pull the core, we've got it. We're gonna go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, bring those arms back in. We pulse it out. Oh yeah, we're gonna dance, right? Keep pulsing, weight back into your heels. Press in an even line. You wanna press evenly in the four corners of the feet. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back to that wide stance, you're gonna take your arms down to your sides and you're gonna take and point your thumbs up. You're gonna come off your body from about 45 degrees and the stand slightly turned to the sides that you can see. And you're gonna pull straight up, slowly lower down. So you should take two counts, one and two, and one and two. Tight core for eight. We've got this, 45 degrees off your body. Seven, tight, tight core. Six, nice and slow and controlled. For five, we can do it. Four, three, whoop, whoop, whoop. and two, and one. Beautiful, coming back and pulsing. Walk it out. Walk it out. Woo! All right, coming back to that chair stand. I'm gonna stand to the diagonal so that we can see this. You're gonna take your weights in front, hold them together. You're gonna sit back and then your tailbone's gonna be tucked. You're gonna graze the top of your thighs like you're taking a paintbrush to the top of your thighs. Come to a flat back, tap the tops of your feet. Exhale, stand all the way up, keep a bend to your knees. And all the way down, press through the heels and come up and down and come up we're gonna go for five four three two we've got it we've got it for one all the way down all the way up beautiful now we're gonna do the exact same thing with the straight leg so feet about hips width distance apart. I'll stand to the diagonal so you can see alignment. Hips width distance apart, shoulders roll down and back. Lift up, keep a softness through your knees. You don't want to lock out through your knees, especially if you're hyper flexible. Take an inhale, slowly exhale as you lower. Keep the legs nice and straight. Paint it all the way back up, press through the heels. And we lower all the way down. Tight, tight core, pull it up through a flat back. Use the strength of the core. We're gonna go for eight. Breathing, seven, six, five, all the way up, four, woo, someone's got that motorcycle, for three, two, and one, beautiful, all the way down, all the way up, woo, beautiful job, yes, yes, yes. We're gonna go through and do a shoulder, a single arm shoulder press next. So you're gonna come onto a lunge, I 
I'd like to make sure that everything is stacked accordingly. So make sure that your left leg, if you're doing your right arm, I like to do um, opposite arm, opposite leg. Uh, just feel what feels good into your body. Um, just make sure the knee stacked over the heel. And then you're gonna take your right arm and you're gonna press, bring it all the way under. You're gonna press it straight up and then bring it back down level. Press it straight up, tight core, bring it down level. Press it straight up. Look at this, we're cheerleaders. We're like, yes, rah, 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 go fight, win. I always wanted to be a cheerleader. Maybe in a past life I was a football cheerleader. I don't know, I like to pretend. We're gonna go for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, keep your arm extended. You're gonna bend at the elbow and you're gonna imagine that you're patting yourself on the back. You're gonna exhale, pull it straight up. Inhale, lower with control. Exhale, we pull straight up. We're gonna go for eight. Breathing. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, we've got it, we've got it. Our arms need to work too. Last one. Oh, good job. Shake it out. Go ahead and take a moment. My poor arms. I could do, I need to do more like heavy weights, but you know, it's amazing that I do these weights, right? <laughs> okay. Coming back into your lunge onto the opposite arm now, making sure that everything's aligned and stacked. Pull your navel in, heavy tailbone. Weight comes right up to your shoulder. Exhale on the push. Inhale, slowly come down. Exhale on the hard part. We've got it. We're gonna go for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Beautiful. Keep your arm extended. Bend at the elbow. Pat yourself on the shoulder. Exhale. Pull it up. And inhale. We lower. Exhale. Pull it up. Inhale. We lower. Exhale up. We've got it for five, four, three, two, and one, all the way up, and release. Oh, oh my goodness, that was super great. Grab a sip of water, and we will meet back on our mats with our squishy ball and with our five pound weight. Yes, yes, yes. It's gonna be so great. All right. So with your squishy ball, we'll go ahead and come back to the mat. You guys are awesome. Jody's holding the fort down on the Zoom front. <laughs> okay. Sitting up nice and tall. You want to keep your feet bent and about hips width distance apart. Taking a deep inhale, your biceps are going to come by your ears. As you exhale, you're going to lower one vertebrae at a time until you can barely hold it. Then you exhale, come all the way up. So you don't want to arch your back. You want to go to where you can control it. Take it back. The idea is eventually in time, your shoulder blades will come all the way to the mat. You'll exhale and come all the way biceps by the ears. But listen to your body. Do what your body is craving for. We're going to go for eight. Maybe it's craving for a big burn. Or maybe your body's telling you to back off. You are your guide. You are the judge. You take the intensity. It's your workout. Last four. Three, two, and one, all the way up. Keep the feet planted, take that ball right to where your tailbone meets the earth. Lean back into it, hug the navel into the spine. Taking your weight, planting it between the two palms, roll the shoulders down and away, chin towards the chest, looking down the bridge of the nose. We're gonna pulse it back. Maybe you step the feet a little closer. Keep all four corners of the foot planted. Imagine you have a yoga block on the high point of the inner thighs. We're gonna go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One more round. Let's go. Let's go for eight, seven, six. You've got it for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it back. Lengthen the arms in front. You're going to twist it to the right. Come up and over. Twist it to the left. Up and over to the right. And left. We go for eight. Breathing. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Each side, each side. Bend the elbows. Look down the bridge of the nose. Good job. Pull it out. Press into the feet. We go for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Oh, it has been a long time since we've done those with weights. Good job. All right, let's ditch that weight though. <laughs> what do you say about that? All right, we're going to come all the way down onto our backs with the feet directly underneath the knees, bending at the knees, taking the uh, ball on the high point of the inner thighs. Your palms are going to come down by your mat. You're going to take an inhale as you exhale, lifting the hips nice and high. You're going to lift the hips really high, and you're going to double squeeze on that ball. You're going to inhale, slowly, slowly tap the booty to the earth. Exhale, double bridge pulse. We're going to go for eight, seven, pulse, pulse, really press through the heels for six, five, four, three, Two, one, keep it up, squeeze. Squeeze the inner thighs, press to the heels, keep the glutes engaged. We're gonna go for eight, seven, six, five, four, come on, go, we can do it for three, two, one. Keep squeezing on the inner thighs on that ball. You're gonna lift and lower the hips just an inch, little pulses, little pulses. We're burning, we're toning, we're trimming and shaping for eight, seven, Six, five, four, you've got it for three, two, one. Rolling all the way down one vertebrae at the time. Hug your knees into your chest. Oh, we are gonna rock side to side. Take a moment. Yes, we are done with that part. And rock and roll your way to seated. Oh, I love it. All right, let's meet in tabletop. Grab your five pound weight. And in your tabletop, this is about the booty, not about anything else. But you want to keep the core engaged because you don't want to dump into the low back and then do the donkey kicks because that will be no bueno. Pull the navel into the spine. Keep that tailbone heavy to the earth. Plant the palms directly underneath the shoulders. Tuck the left toes. Take a deep inhale as you exhale. Double donkey kick pulse. Bring it in. Double donkey kick pulse. Bring it in. For eight. Seven, six, we've got it for five, four, three, you can do it, two, one, we pulse it up, continuous isometric pulsing, we're really getting into that glute for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knees come together, double fire hydrant pulse to the side, slowly bring it in. Double fire hydrant pulse, bring it in. For eight, seven, six, five, we've got this ladies and gentlemen, four, three, two, one, pulse it up, pulse it up. We go for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Woo! Replant. Shake it out. Get ready. Second sub. Second leg. Weight underneath behind the left knee. Palm shoulder width distance apart. Pull the navel into the spine. Flex the toes. Double pulse. Knees come together. Double pulse. Knees together. Have that space between the shoulder blades. The core pulled in nice and tight. Heavy tailbone. Don't release an arch and dump. We've got it for five, four, three, two, 
One, we pulse it up, pulse it up. Flex that foot, you've got it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees come together, double fire hydrant pulse. Slowly bring it in. Double fire hydrant, bring it in. We go for eight. We've got it, push through. This is the last part of the workout before we surrender and stretch. You have got this. You are strong and capable. Just take deep breaths for four, three, two, one. We pulse it up. Let's go, let's go. Come on, this is it. This is the burn for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Remove that weight. Wag your tail side to side. Oh, holy moly. I felt that one today, y'all. All right, let's go ahead and come onto a comfortable seat. And we're gonna come into a uh, Baddha Konasana or a um, butterfly or bound ankle pose. So the soles of the feet come together to touch. The knees fall out to the side. Now, if your hips um, aren't as open today, that's totally okay. Use your props to your benefit. Use your ball, put it underneath the leg. And if you have a second ball or yoga block, you can use that or a pillow. Take an inhale, we lift the chest. Exhale, forward fold. We're gonna be here for four full rounds of breath, just releasing into the hips. That piriformis muscle and glute medius muscle was really firing in that last exercise. So we really wanna surrender and send your breath. Several rounds. You've got this. Slow that heart rate down. One more deep inhale. Stay for the exhale. Another inhale. Fill it up, fill it up. Open mouth exhale. Inhale, restacking, recentering, coming all the way back up. Lengthening the legs out in front of you, hips with distance apart. Keep a slight bend to your knees if your hamstrings are tight. If not, you're gonna press through the heels. Inhale, arms come up, biceps by the ears. As you exhale, forward fold. Breathing, stretching that backside body. Maybe taking any movement that your body is calling for. Maybe you rock side to side. Maybe you stay in stillness. Being very intentional with your movements. Just giving your body that luscious cool down that it needs. One more deep inhale. Stay for the exhale. Slowly walking all the way back up. Sit up nice and tall. And then go ahead and come back to an easy sit position, cross-legged as Sukhasana. Inhale, our biceps come up by the ears. As we exhale, our right palm's gonna come to the top of the left thigh, the left palm behind the sit bones. With each inhale, we find length and space through the spine. With each exhale, we find a bit more depth in the twist. One more deep inhale, fill up, fill up. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, both biceps by the ears. Exhale, twisting to the opposite side. The left hand to the top of the right thigh, the little right hand behind the switch bones. Sitting up nice and tall with a gentle twist, never yanking and pulling, but really being mindful. Centering out the breath. Relaxing the muscles in the face. No tension. Coming back to the center, take a deep inhale. As we exhale, the palms will come into heart center. Take a moment, close your eyes. Imagine all that beautiful energy as light, as sparkling light. Just glistening and sparkling throughout our whole entire bodies. Have a smile on your face and a slight bow to your chin and gratitude to your body and gratitude for your practice, for your discipline, 
for everything that it took to make this your workout today. It is my honor and pleasure and privilege to guide you through this bar workout. It is truly one of my most favorite things to do in life. So thank you guys. In light and love, namaste.